Hey, it's Juan. Welcome to the March issue of your VMA Sit. We are here at the newly remodeled Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum. Um, and I've got a very special guest. Anna Wyant is a Roslyn based Deloitte manager. She's a captain of the United States Air Force. She's currently supporting the Space Force. And she is the 2023 leader of the Veterans Impact Report. We're going to hear more in just a second about how you can get involved with that. First, I want to start with Anna's journey because it's unique. You are a Mustang came up through the ranks in the Air Force, and you're from Michigan, which is not a big Air Force uh, 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 geography. Tell us about your journey. Sure. Uh, yeah, not a big presence in Michigan, but uh, there is Selfridge Air National Guard Base, which is where I initially enlisted back in 2005. Um, I learned about the uh, military opportunities through the uh, a recruiter at my high school, Army National Guard, said for one weekend a month, two weeks a year, you can uh, you know get college paid for and support your country. So that was very intriguing to me. Had an older brother in the Air Force at the time. He said, if there's one piece of advice I give you, it's join the Air Force, not the Army. <laughs> so I ended up going to uh, an Air Force Reserve recruiter, uh, enlisting um, without telling my parents, actually, to start. Uh, it was a decision I felt I needed to make on my own. Uh, they're very supportive, very patriotic, um, but I, I felt like I just needed to make that decision by myself. Um, initially started off working in air transportation, moved on to public affairs uh, after we got my degree in journalism from Michigan State. Uh, that was back in 2007, uh, 2008 I transitioned, and then it wasn't until 2014 that I commissioned. I found a slot, uh, had some great Mustang officers surrounding me who were very, very supportive of my transition to, uh, to become an officer. And yeah, I've been an individual augmentee for the last five years. Uh, which means that I'm assigned to an active duty unit. So the Space Force, as you know, doesn't have a reserve or guard component at this point in time. Uh, and so they use Air Force to, to support. Um, so I'm working as a public affairs officer at Space Operations Command right now. Absolutely the best job in the Air Force. Uh, get to document what everybody's doing and have a lot of fun. Now, on a, the, uh, the Wyatt family, has, you have two brothers. Both Air Force vets? Yes, uh, one is actually in the Air National Guard now uh, in Maryland, or actually in Delaware, I'm sorry. And um, I enlisted him into the, uh, onto the reserve side after he got out of active duty. We share the same enlistment date. How about that? And, uh, which is also my mom's birthday. So easy to remember all three things. So the Wyatt family must have leads Air Force Force. Absolutely. And you have done a, you've been mobilized across the yeah. desert. You've been mobilized for a long uh, activation in Europe. And next week, do two weeks in Colorado Springs in Space Force. And how's, how's your, uh, your deployed experience with managing your reserve obligations? Oh, phenomenal. I mean, the team I'm on an Air Force project, uh, team that I'm working with is, is very understanding of uh, my schedule, very supportive of it. Part of the reason they hired me into this project is because of my reserve Speak experience. The language. Absolutely. So the clients are very supportive, uh, understand working with, with Guard and Reserve components. Um, so yeah, super supportive, super, super fortunate to have the team that I have that takes care of uh, things while I'm out, um, as well as just their understanding that I have to leave uh, sometimes on short notice. Now, you rock in the, in the great tradition of the Air Force. You rogered up, raised your right hand, and yeah. said, I will lead this year's Veterans Impact Report. Every year on Veterans Day for the last couple of years, Joe Yu has rolled out our document that captures everything we're doing in the vet space across yeah. our firm. For those of you looking to make a firm contribution, to get involved to whatever level your bandwidth allows, whether it's a, a full commitment when you're actually writing pieces, whether it's a, your bandwidth is less and you're editing and you're helping with branding and all those pieces, they should reach out to you. Wyant, W-A-W-Y-A-N-T. And we're putting together the team, but we're early. We're gonna do this so it's, it's uh, smooth and well-oiled and we can put together a great product. Absolutely, looking forward to meeting everyone, uh, looking forward to putting together a great team and sharing all the amazing things that our firm does to support veterans and, and the military community. Reach out to Anna, get involved in this year's Veterans Impact Report. Now Anna, one thing that's, that's uh, a little bit of a mystery, you've got this incredible Air Force background, you're supporting the Space Force now, but you always go out of your way to say naval aviators are the best pilots. Tell us, tell us what's going on. He cannot put those words in my mouth on the record. I will go on the record saying Air Force will always be the best pilot. Hey, thanks everybody. Enjoy this issue. Uh, appreciate your support. Fly Navy. Thanks, Anna.